Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I'm in a completely different setting than what I was before in my other videos and that is because I moved. Actually, I moved two times. As you all know, I'm in college now and things have been just absolutely crazy. That's why I haven't been uploading that much lately, but I figured since um, I had some extra time and I don't have class until 2.30, I would do kind of like a lazy college get ready with me um, while I study for my bio exam. So I'm just, I got my t-shirt on and my hair up. So that's step one to the lazy college look. Um, now I'm just going to dampen my beauty blender. I usually just keep like a bottle of water beside my vanity and then I just kind of like pump it up on my beauty blender and then I just squeeze the rest out like on a towel or something just because sometimes I forget to um, dampen it before I do my makeup. So what I'm going to start off with is the Huda Beauty um, Complexion Perfection pre-makeup base so basically just the primer it does come with a pump and I absolutely love this stuff I think I'm probably gonna end up doing a review on just the Huda Beauty um, stuff including the um, foundation so I'm just going to rub this all in my skin this feels like um Honestly, it kind of feels like Elmer's glue. It's kind of weird. I've never really felt a primer like this before. I don't really think it's that, it's not that thick, but it's still, it's still nice. I really like how it keeps my foundation all day. And then I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty um, Faux Filter foundation in shortbread 200b I did I do have and I've literally used this like two times I have the other um Huda Beauty in vanilla 120b and it was just too light for me so I had to get the um next shade up I think it was like one or two shades up and then what I do is I have it on my palette here and I give it about two pumps and then I take my um cover effects drops, custom drops in um, Celesteel, Celesteel something, I don't know. And I take about one, but I'm like almost out of this, I need to get my other one. I take about one little squirt of that. And then I take my foundation brush. This is just the EOS, I'm almost positive, yeah, EOS tools. And I just um, mix that around and then I do like one, two, but I work from like one side of my face to the other because this stuff dries down pretty quick. But it's um, it's really nice coverage. I'll give it that. I gotta be careful. I did my own lash extension, guys, as you can see, and I am in love with them. I actually was inspired by Amber Scholl. She is like one of my favorite, favorite, favorite youtubers if you haven't watched her videos you really really should because she is amazing she's so nice and she's just like amazing with fashion and stuff like she rocks so go check out her channel um so yeah and if you guys want to see how i did these lash extensions and they're real lash extensions they're not just glued on like it's ad like adhesive like they're on there for a good two to three weeks and it took me about 30 40 minutes to do both so I changed my major to HGFS human development and family studies and I want to go for counseling and stuff just because I love talking to people about their problems and helping people with like tough situations just because I've just always been that friend to love like I love just sitting down with people and like helping them through their issues and like just listening to them because I know that I've always enjoyed having somebody to sit down and listen to my problems it's helped me a lot so I just think that like I should give back and help people with their problems because 
I don't know I'm just that kind of person okay so now that that is all blended in I do put a little bit extra on my sides where my breakouts are more um I guess more severe and yeah so that is it I'm just gonna like set that stuff aside so I can clean it afterwards and next what I do also this dries down to about a powder unless you have really really oily skin then it's probably best if you um go with a setting powder but um I have more dry combination skin so I don't use a setting powder and now I'm gonna go in with my cheek parade by benefit and I'm going to go in with the Hoola Light um, bronzer, and I'm just gonna hit my um, cheekbones. into dandelion which is also in this um, palette um, I'm just gonna hit my cheeks with this I just use the same brush because I like that extra add like the extra addition of some of that bronzer in with my blush it just gives it a super cute um, color that I really enjoy for highlight I Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost and Eclipse love it um, so yeah I'm just going to I mean, it's still, it's still there, but I mean, it's just kind of subtle. And oh my god, guys, what all have you missed? I'll tell you. I got a new puppy. Come here. Okay, so her name is Sassafras, and this is Sass. She is a miniature schnauzer. She's my little baby girl. Yes, you are. And so it's Sass for short, and Sassafras. Um, I absolutely love the name Sassafras. I know it's like a plant or something, but like I don't even care. I just think it's so cute. And she's the most cuddliest, littlest, cutest baby ever. Um, she's about 13 weeks. And she's just such a little brat. Like, she is her own, like, she's her own boss. Like, you're not telling her anything. So, yeah, that's Sass. And JD, JD is still JD. Um yeah she's my first princess so okay guys I got my hands on the Jaclyn Hill palette I don't know how much of a fan I am of her um I don't watch her a lot at all actually but I did see this palette I did hear all the hype about it so I was like I'm gonna get my hands on it so this is the palette and let me just tell you I'm not too sure about Jaclyn but I am sure about this palette and it is bomb like even if you really don't like Jacqueline or if you super duper love her or whatever, this is just a great palette to have. It blends absolutely amazing. The colors are super pigmented. It's just awesome. I just whew, love it. And another thing, this Morphe um, uh, setting mist. It's not a setting spray. It's a setting mist. Yeah, it's freaking... I need some. It's amazing. Just, I'd highly recommend the two. So I'm just going to do like a super subtle look and I'm going to go in with in light which is like just a shimmery kind of whitish color and I'm going in all over the lid with that just to kind of set it out. And then I'm going to go in with, I see, I don't like how it's not on here. I think I'm going in with Silk, yes, yeah, Silk Cream. And I'm just going to go over the whole lid as well. And just a little bit. We don't want a ton because, you know, we're just chilling today. So then I think I'm going to literally finish it off with, um, let me see here, Faint. And Faint is this... Um, literally faint pink I'll swatch it for you oh wow gorgeous 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 so I think I'm also gonna mix it with sissy as well sissy is a super cute iridescent this reminds me a lot of a shade from Colourpop it's like literally the same I forget what it's called though um so yes I'm going to just pop this 
on my lid. I don't really find the need to use um, a brush for these colors, for the glitters, because I just think they pop really nice with your fingers, if you can see it, like, super, super cute. Okay, for this camera, I got a new camera, which is, like, a big reason why I'm doing this review. Like, why would I get this nice freaking camera and not do a review for you guys? Which I'm going to be coming back with videos, don't worry. Um, and then I'm just going to be taking this e.l.f. Um, contour brush right here. And I think I'm just going to take the, um, what was that called again? Silk cream once again. And I'm going to just pop that right in the crease just to kind of blend out that pink. We don't want like a harsh line. Harsh lines aren't fine. <laughs> Did you get it? Harsh lines aren't fine. They aren't. So, I'm just going to be taking, as soon as I find it, I don't know where I put it. Okay, my um, brow is, because I'm not about to use gel right now. It's not the time. And I'm just going to be penciling in slightly my eyebrows, just to give it some shape. We want people to still appreciate the brows, but also know that I did not put in a ton of effort today. So, just like that, like, hello, I woke up, but I still care, but not a lot. That's the look we're going for today, which is like pretty much been my everyday look for the last like month, but that's totally fine. If you don't want to dress up every day, don't dress up every day. So now I'm just going to go in with my finger and blend in the beginning of the brow because we don't, I personally don't like the like boxed look. Um, that's just like not my thing, but that's totally up to you. If you like that girl, boy, rock it. Um, going in with the other brow now. I literally have like the worst luck with like only one of my brows like if it's not my left it's my right if it's not my right it's my left and that's just how life goes things don't come perfect guys so I am having slightly yeah it's definitely my right today uh -huh. I'm having a slightly good brow day which is lovely that's what we want to hear just gonna go in with my finger once again and just blend that out because why not lovely just like so and um, I'm going to take I just want to show you guys how nice this highlight of a color is on in the Jaclyn Hill <laughs> Jaclyn Hill palette I'm gonna be just taking this um Luxie 223 short shader um, brush and just spritz that a teensy bit with the Morphe setting mist and I'm going to be going into which one is it which one is it I think we're going to go in with um and light maybe beam I think we're going to go in with beam just hit beam there and then I'm going to go I need to see though the top of the brow bone yeah so you can see when the light hits that that's like a really nice kind of subtle kind of not um shadow and I'm gonna hit the inner corners of the like see that's a really nice like you could actually probably use this like yeah you can definitely use this as like a um highlighter for itself um yeah it's super super nice so this is the eye look and the one thing that is absolutely amazing about eyelash extensions is like I don't have to put on the mascara like I'm gonna put on which look at this guys is that not the prettiest thing ever it's a limited edition it's the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes the only mascara I will use and I will put this on just the bottom of my eyelashes just to give it that edge. Because once again, why not? 
And like I said, nothing comes perfect, guys. So you know we have to get it under our eye because that's totally normal every time. Wonderful Q-tips. And once it dries, okay, not this time. Guys, it's, it's totally fine. It's fine. It's fine. So I'm going to just pat under there one more time just to um blend out what I got off. And then I'm going to take my towel, which I just used this cute I know, Tommy Hilfiger um, towel. And I'm using it for makeup, so not too good, but it's fine. And I'm going to just exfoliate my lips, if you would say. Now that our um, foundation is all off our lips... I'm just going to throw on some creme brulee Vaseline. I love these little things to go with me in my purse and it's just super cute. I apply it with a q-tip because I don't like putting my fingers in it because I'm weird. And I just smear it all around just like that. And then um, I'm just going to take my mist and just slightly mist my face. So. Just like so. You can see the highlight is still there. It's just not like extremely there. And yeah, guys, that's literally it. Um, it took me about 20 minutes to accomplish this look. But if I wouldn't have been talking and I'd be in a rush, it'd take me about eight. So yeah, that is the look for the day. Um... I'm just probably going to continue to study until my class. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel to see more of these wonderful lazy college get ready with me's. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, whatever, please make sure to comment. And all my socials are in the description box. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.